guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 of the Idol Masters Cinderella Girls under 149. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It looks like an older her, and that's so cute. Where's your iguana? There he is! What speaks without a voice? <laughs> well, that used to be Kohara. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I'm just so Uh-oh. There he is! Mm-hmm. Love at first sight. <laughs>
And mom like, mm -mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> or is that her sister? Yeah, I mean, because you don't want your mom, you know, running around looking for you. Okay, perfect. Ain't that funny though. Yeah, just like my you and um, what's your face? <laughs> That's why I feel like her, Mayu, and the other girl that Mayu was friends with, they're going to be in a unit together in the future. Like, if it's not already confirmed, we already know it's going to happen. Oh my god. <laughs> of course they have Eichel. He got eat. Oh. My clumsy baby. Mm -hmm. Roll with it.
好。Mm-hmm. Yeah, she gone. Oh. A bird. <laughs> Is that her? No. Oh, my God. She <laughs> watches something. <laughs> I can't. Oh, baby, they'll find you. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Nina. Mm-hmm. Follow. Baby, you got this. No! All of them. Oh, my God. Look at them all. Look at them. Oh, my God. That is truly a Disney princess. <laughs> Somebody is about to meme this up. Look at them all. <laughs> Follow. Damn, they all left quick. Oh. No, you're not. I, I love how they're having them all wait. There we go. We got the solo. Hooray! The solo! Freaking flying, oh my god.
right? Something bad could have happened to you. <laughs> hmm? Oh. That was cute. Oh my god. You already know. Tomorrow. Onegai Cinderella. Koharu is finally coming. Oh my god. I think after that, you know, all the little kid versions will be completed. Except, you know, the ones who aren't voicey just yet. But this was cute. Her solo was cute. So I'm kind of hoping that tomorrow her solo also gets added. Maybe. I'm not really sure yet. But like, seriously. I, I you know... At first, I was skeptical of last week, wondering who the focus would have been on because the next day, there was no preview. And it was just pictures. And so I'm like, okay, it's all, you know, Kaharu. But I was like, wait, at least still give me a preview. But then in my mind, it clicked. I was like, oh, it's Koharu. And I'm not mad at that. I love the fact that we got to, you know, learn more about, you know, her prince, aka her iguana. Because at first, when I started playing the game, in 2017 and I kept getting cards of her and her iguana I was like what the heck is this I, I was like you know how can a little girl be into an iguana but you know what we got women in here who have dogs um I think one of them has a cat and such so you never know exotic creatures it's okay I, I like the fact that she likes iguanas it's cute that is her thing. Anytime you see Iguana, you instantly gonna think of her. Because I don't know any other idol in a series that would take a, a, an Iguana as a pet. Truly. <laughs> I also love the fact that we got to see... ...an Eichel. I was not expecting those two. Especially Cutting. Because Cutting is the clumsy baby. And I was expecting her more like later in the series. But still, once again, this does open up. Like, who all could be featured in these next episodes. But, I mean, it was really nice. Now, as for who is next, we only really have two girls left. We have Chie and we have Kaoru. Now, we just finished with a cute girl so we have one passion girl and one cool girl left now they could do chie next or they could do like they did with adesu of making her first but making chie the last girl um to be the major focus on it really just depends on what they're trying to do because i know they're trying to make it very similar to 100 percent um the manga chapters of this series and such so i think if i go look at the manga chapters then probably that would give me a clue on who's next but sometimes i could be wrong about that so of course we just really have to wait until tomorrow but if it's my money i'd rather see kaoru first and then end the series with chie <coughs> and such and then what the remainder of the last episodes that we have which is supposed to be like what two 12 12 episodes, and we're only on episode 7, so that would be 8, 9, so 10, 11, 12, so the last three episodes could just be anything, them getting ready for their first performance together as a big group and such, and leading up to that, and that would probably be in the last episode, and that probably would also indicate that whatever song is going to be in the last few episodes, 
that will now probably be the next event because I don't think right now we're currently just in the last little bits of Nightwear Lips event and then also the permanent SSR event. So I feel like we're not going, I want to go into a live groove next, but I don't think that's next. It's also funny that I think, was it Tuesday night? Monday or Tuesday night? Um, Adesu got her sin fast, her noir. And, and I'm not mad at it because it made the most sense because of the fact is between, out of all the girls, the only one who already had their noirs were Media and um, Momoka. I think yeah 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 yeah. so nobody else would no no i'm missing one it, it should be it should be media momoka and i think risa you know what let's look that up real quick because i think either risa has her um her regular fast Or she just has, because I feel like she already has both. That's her perm. That's her second perm. No, that's a limited card. Okay. So it's just two. Um, it's still just media and Momoka, but as of today, Odyssey was now the next one. And it made sense for it because we all had a feeling that the next Sin uh, yeah, Nora Fest card was going to be one of these girls featured in this. And so since Odyssey, I mean, media and Momoka already have theirs, um, which is okay, like a passion and a cute, we knew that the next one was going to be a cool and it made the most sense for Odyssey to get hers because she already has her fest card, which I already have. I mean, the card is cute. I like the colors of it. I like the way she looks. Um, it, it's very different in such, more sensual in a way, but it, it's just like a cutesy thing. And stuff. She still looks adorable. I love the fact that it's like um her she has little fangs and such. Uh, you only see it like maybe when they zoom in on like solo parts for any song that you have her as your middle and such. But yeah, it's cute. I, like I said, the colors are adorable. I love the red and the browns and I think golds and silvers in it. Um, I do also love the fact that with this new card, we now have a new pose. Instead of it just being like this all the time and literally covering literally the whole outfit it's now like this so that we can see the frontal outfit i think that was a really good part on bandai napco to do that because i think a lot of people really wanted to see the full outfit because normally um when it is the hands in front of the front it is a little harder to see a lot of those details so you kind of have to wait until you go into photo mode and like have your personal favorite idol or the idol who has the sin fest to do a pose, to really get in the details and stuff. The little wing thing that she has in the background that like flaps in the back, that's cute. It, it's just overall fits her because she is a very mature child in this series. She is, even though she's like, <laughs> whatever age she is, I think she's like 10, I believe. I don't know, I have to go back and look. But she acts like she, this girl is like 15, 16. And that's why I feel like, once again, hopefully soon, because it is going to happen that the duo of both Adesu and Fumika eventually comes to light. There's a lot of other duo idols, especially Kaede and, you know, Mizuki. I'm waiting for that. And then Kaede, Mizuki, and Miyu. And then Kaede, Mizuki, Miyu, Sane, and Shin. I'm waiting for those groups to finally make an appearance because those are the five girls that I main. In my group, even though Kayeda is my main main, but still, I would like that. Please and thank you. They're my five best girls, so give me my five best girls in an idol group. You did it once, but you, you know, you didn't have Mizuki. You had Nana. And we all know how I feel about Nana. <laughs> it's not, hey, it's more of a dislike. Because she, she's, I, I'm not not cursed. I am technically cute and passion go cursed because... 
all these cute girls and passion girls always want to come home, but Nana, Nana always wants to come home the most. And I'm like, Nana, I don't want you. I want you to stay away. I already have enough of your cards, but not every single time. Like if it's Sinfest, Blanc or Noir, she always comes home. And I'm like, girl, back it up. Stay over there. Do you know how many freaking Sinfest cards of her do I have that I got repeats of? Jesus Christ. Like I had like two to four. But one person, I mean, he got a lot that I watched and he was so pissed. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of the Idol Master Shinra the Girls Under 149. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 8. Bye, guys!